Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I did a thing, I got curtain bangs and it's kind of annoying because this is the first video that I'm filming and like posting with my curtain bangs and they're just not quite sitting right today. I think my hair kind of needs to be washed and like have them restyled and stuff if you know what I mean. So they're not quite looking their best but anyway I got curtain bangs, I decided to bite the bullet. I've been wanting to do it for a while but I've been a little bit scared and I've gone for it so that is, that is a little thing to address. I've got all my hair sat in front of my face as well because otherwise I feel like if I tuck my hair back and I literally just have my two little curtain bangs sitting out the front then I look like a little boy who's had a bowl cut and barely got any hair if you know what I mean but I'm not used to wearing my hair like all in front of my shoulders I normally like chuck this back but I'm just I don't know we're playing it around here but anyway enough of the hair as you can tell from the title today's video is a styling video and I'm so excited about this one this is genuinely probably like Mm, am I gonna go out there and make this bold statement? There's there's potential I could. This is one of my favourite styling videos that I've ever done, if not my favourite. I filmed all the trial clips of this video yesterday and oh my goodness me, it took me hours, but I am so happy with how it's turned out. So I'm so excited to like talk you through them and everything. But anyway, obviously, let me tell you what the video is. I know you can read the title, I know you know what it is, but I feel like I still need to address it. Today's video is a styling ultra mini Uggs video. However, little disclaimer, I don't own ultra minis. Um these ones that I have here are actually the M&S copy just because I didn't really want to spend £100 or so on some boots and stuff and these are a really really good dupe. They look the same, they're really good quality and these are from M&S. I think these are like £30 but when I got them they had like 25% off so I'm not going to do the maths but these are a lot cheaper basically. So in all the trial clips these are the ones that I'm wearing. Obviously you could wear proper ultra minis if you want to be proper proper but I'm not going to call this video styling M&S sheepskin filled boots because it's just not got the same ring to it so it is going to be called styling ultra minis even though these technically aren't ultra minis but they look the same so we're just going to go with it okay but yeah i will leave these ones linked down below in case you want them um and i'll try and link down below everything that is still available to buy some of these things are things i've ordered for the video for outfits some of these things are things i already own i wanted to kind of like mix up and i don't want to constantly be ordering loads of new clothes for every single video because of like fast fashion and everything so some of these are old clothes some these are new clothes i thought i'd do a little bit of like a little bit of both you know best of both worlds hannah montana is giving me those vibes kind of thing anyway enough of the intro the mug for today let me just quickly show you her the mug for today is this le creuset one it does actually still have the sticker on it because i got this from tk maxx this is the first time i've used it and because i've got nails on i actually can't get the label off but i got this for 7.99 instead of 15 pound from tk maxx so there we go and I thought this was quite fitting because I feel like if you love an ultra mini, I feel like you're going to love the pink Le Creuset. Like gorgeous, gorgeous girls who wear ultra minis are also going to be gorgeous, gorgeous girls who collect pink Le Creuset for their future kitchens. So I thought this tied in pretty well. And she's a cute mug and she's a new one. And I thought what better mug to have than a new mug that we've not seen before yet in this video because this is an exciting video. Do you know what I mean? How many times am I going to touch my bangs in this video? I don't know. Um, we'll see. You can keep count if you want, but that could get quite annoying. So there we go. There's already two in about two seconds. We are going to start with a pretty simple basic outfit, but it's one of my favourites. So I feel like it's a good place to start. So first up, we have this top. This is from Sisters and Seekers. Um, it says serotonin on it and it's got a cute little baby goat on it. And what more could you want in life? But to be honest, any sort of oversized t-shirt, it could be a plain white t-shirt, be a slogan t-shirt any sort of oversized t-shirt would work for this but this is just the one that i went with and then i have these jeans from pretty little thing and i am obsessed with these jeans these are one of my favorite pairs of jeans that i have ever tried and i've just realized that i have literally just finished filming pretty little thing haul and i forgot to show you these in that pretty little thing haul which is so annoying because these are like my favorite thing i've ordered from pretty little thing in a long time oh well we move on anyway these are just like a light blue wash jean but they've got like a rip here a rip here and a rip here and i have like i've not worn ripped jeans in a while i feel like i kind of went off them but now like i'm starting to get back into them and these ones i feel like are really cool and then they're just a straight leg jean with a split hem and i absolutely love these and then with this outfit i wore these sunglasses from h&m which i'm pretty sure are wonky when i put them on my face like when i wore these yesterday they were just sitting like lopsided and i don't really know why i don't know if i've broken them or something but anyway these are what i was wearing with them and then obviously the ultra minis and then i put on another sisters and seekers t-shirt just to show you like how it would look with a different t-shirt but that one i literally just wore in the pretty little thing haul that i filmed and i took it off and i put it over there and i don't know why i put it over there so i don't have it in reach to show you but you'll see it in the trial clips it's the sisters and seekers boy band tee and i absolutely love that top so that's how it looks with like two different t-shirt kind of things and then carrying on with the boy band tee i'm going to transition onto the next outfit because it works pretty well to transition 
foundation on. So next up, I just need to reach over. All the stuff is over there because there's so much that rather than having it on the sofa, I've put it on a box there and I just need to... What the hell? There's like an actual glitch then. I don't know if like some giant bird flew in front of the sun or something, but like the sun, like the light just flickered, but I've got no lights on. I'm just using the sun. That's a little bit freaky and definitely a glitch in the matrix that we hopefully just caught on camera. I don't know if you would have seen the flick in the light then. I don't know. That was weird. Anyway, so carrying on with the boy band tee, I then started with these grey joggers, which wasn't actually an outfit that I planned. It just kind of happened when I was changing outfits for the try on clips, and I actually thought it looked quite good. So these are from Pretty Little Thing. They're just some simple grey joggers, which I rolled up on the bottom, but any grey joggers would do. And I thought it's kind of like a chilled, comfy outfit, but like a little bit more dressy than joggers and a hoodie because you've got the t-shirt on with it. And it's like quite a good one for like running errands or popping to the post office or something. And then the outfit that I had actually planned to wear was this so this is just a grey sweatshirt again from Pretty Little Thing and it's from the same collection as the joggers they're like the same shade they match really well but any kind of matching tracksuit would do but I thought like a grey one would be quite nice and I loved how it looked with the ultra minis but again like I said literally any tracksuit like a matching tracksuit set with the ultra minis like a black one a blue one a pink one I just love them like and to be honest I just feel like you'll see throughout this video I've styled like various different things not just like all loungewear or all casual outfits with ultra minis and i actually feel like they work with so many things like they're actually such a versatile shoe when you like try and style them you realize they actually go with so much um so that's a little bit more of a casual outfit but i love that one and with the gray joggers i just had this bag on like any canvas bag would do but this one is just my left my louis one at home it looks like so and then the glasses that i wore actually these like blue light glasses um from pretty little thing but like any would kind of do um i thought it kind of worked with the outfit like you could obviously do sunglasses no glasses but i just thought to accessorize it these would work really well next up we will go we're going to move this stuff off my lap actually before we proceed any further next up we have one of my favorite outfits that i've worn recently i wore this outfit out for lunch um and then i wore it with some like kind of brogue type shoes but then i tried it on for this video with ultra minis and it actually works really well and it kind of casuals it down a little bit so maybe for like a shopping day or something i thought this would work really well so i have these trousers which i got from zara um i actually got these in the sale for like 7.99 and i absolutely love them they're like this kind of camely color like straight leg trouser and then i wore them with a shirt that i got from shein but i hung it back up in my wardrobe yesterday after i filmed the trial and clips so i didn't get it out again today for this video so it was like with a shirt from shein and then i had these which sunglasses i can't quite remember it's either one of these two um i've tried these on with a few outfits these two pairs of sunglasses they're the same shape these are just like a brown tortoise shell and these are black with an orange lens and they're both from primark um and i got these like last month i think so they might still be in there but these were styled with quite a few different outfits for reference they're primark and yeah that was basically that outfit and i absolutely love it it's definitely gonna be one that i do wear out because i am just obsessed with her like i just i don't know what it is about it but i just absolutely love it then before i forget because my laptop is literally on five percent um which doesn't work very well because i've got all the try on clips here to remind me about them and to not forget about them so before i forget i'm just going to quickly reel through a few of them that aren't here because otherwise i will forget like i said so we have a green outfit going on which i absolutely love so i've got a green top on from pull and bear i literally ordered that the other day so that should still be in stock and then i've got the pretty little thing jeans on with it and then a green bag from zara which ties in really well and then the h&m sunglasses on and i thought that on like a really hot summer's day well not really hot because you wouldn't want to wear jeans but like because it's like quite a crop top you'd want it to be fairly warm but i thought that was like a really cute kind of casual comfy easy outfit and then carrying on with jeans i've got a pair of jeans on from zara and then literally a simple white shirt tucked into them jeans and a white shirt is one of my go-to outfits anyway i always feel like it looks really put together and i feel like with the ultra minis and the curtain bangs i'm feeling like that kind of girl you know what i mean and i i'm here for it and that i had on with my little jelly cat coffee bag because it was just too cute to not but i also thought like that outfit with like an iced coffee in hand would look really cool so pretending that my like jelly cat coffee bag is a starbucks iced coffee instead there we go and then of course i feel like it couldn't be a styling ultra minis video without this a simple black hoodie and black leggings or like grey leggings and a grey hoodie or black leggings and a white hoodie literally just leggings and a hoodie so easy to just chuck on so comfy that is my like uniform most days and it just looks so good with ultra minis and I styled it with my Jacquemus bag 
which is just over here and it's kind of like it's not the same color as ultra minis but it's like kind of a similar color so i feel like this actually ties in really well with them and it's just such an easy outfit to chuck on chuck it on with some sunglasses like one of these pairs of sunglasses that ties in with the black with the black rims I just think it's a really cool outfit. So simple. Like like I said, if I was just like popping to Josh's or like running errands, that'd probably be my go-to outfit. And it's just, I feel like the ultra minis just make it look really cool. And then also again with the black hoodie, we've got the pretty little thing jeans on again, a little black crop top, which again I got from Pull and Bear. It's the same as the green one, but just in black. And then the black hoodie tied round. Again, I feel like that looks really cool. Really good springtime outfit because if it gets a little bit cold, you can put the hoodie on, but it works well as an accessory. And again, obviously change it out for different colours. You don't have to have the black hoodie and the black bralette. You could have like white one which would look really nice for the summer in fact actually i'm really feeling like the white bralette with a white hoodie tied round because with a tan and stuff that is going to look really good so that is those ones i'm just going to put her away now because she is about to run out of charge but i just wanted to get those done like i said before i forgot and now we're going to move on to some what i would say would be marmite these two next ones so a few of those ones that i just spoke about were quite like casual chilled outfits and these ones are a little bit more dressy and they well they are a little bit more dressy and they're dresses and i feel like some people will not agree with ultra minis being styled with dresses but one i wanted to show you like loads of different options and varieties of outfits to wear with ultra minis and two i personally feel like they work really well and i really like them so first off we have this dress which is from mango and this again was like an accidental like outfit put together like i hadn't planned this one but i put it on yesterday morning like before i started filming try on clips and then i just chucked the ultra minis on with it and i was like actually this works so well and i feel like that's the thing with ultra minis like they actually go with so many outfits and you don't really tend to realize it until you just put them on and then you think oh my god this does actually work if that makes sense so yeah like i said this dress is from mango i brought her all the way back from milan i say all the way back like it's not an hour and a half flight like if i'd have got this from cornwall it would have technically been further away well technically not because of miles and stuff i suppose but anyway she's from milan she's from mango and it's just this gray straight dress with like a slit in the side and this with the ultra minis and like a little crossbody bag super simple but i actually really liked it and like some sunglasses i feel like it's cute to just like pop to waitrose to do the food shop or like pop to starbucks and get a coffee if you're like meeting a friend on a tuesday afternoon like it's a nice chilled outfit and the like ultra minis are going to keep your feet a little bit warmer than like say trainers would so it's like good for like english springtime when it's warm in the sun but in the shade it's a little bit chilly you've got your ultra minis keeping your feet warm because i'm a strong believer in once your feet get cold there's like no going back like once your feet are freezing it then takes so long to warm up i personally find so keep your feet warm no problems and then we have this one which is such a beautiful dress from zara this is actually coming up in my next zara haul so here's a little sneak peek and it's like this pistachio green like satin silky dress it's kind of like a maxi dress it has these elasticated straps and it's just like a v-neck and again this i hadn't planned to wear with the ultra minis but i tried it on with them and it actually worked really well so i thought i might as well chuck it in the video and then styled with it i have this bag from zara and it's like this rattan bag which i feel like works really well with like the dress because it's all summery i mean yes this dress would look beautiful with sandals and arguably i'd probably favor wearing sandals over ultra minis with it but it does also work and I feel like it's kind of a cool vibe to wear such a beautiful dress like this that's kind of summery with like a wintry fluffy Ugg. Like I quite like the contrast and the weirdness of it. Like I kind of feel like it gives off cool girl vibes in a way if that makes sense. So this one holds a little special place in my heart for some reason. I just love it. Then we have this which I got the idea of this off someone on Instagram. I will pop her picture on screen in a minute. Um, I'm not sure her name but I'm pretty sure she's got quite a big following but it just came up on my explore page and I was like oh my goodness I love that outfit so I've tried to recreate it basically the shirt that she's wearing in that picture um, I feel really bad not knowing her name and just calling her she but I cannot remember it and I'm really sorry about that but anyway the shirt that she is wearing in that picture she's got like a collaboration with Naked coming out on Sunday in fact the day this video goes live she's got the shirt coming out in that collection but obviously this video is going live on sunday so i couldn't wait for the collection to come out to get her actual shirt so i just tried to find like the next best thing and i saw this one on pretty little thing um it's a little bit creased just because that's how it arrived but i don't know how to explain this color but it's kind of like on camera it's looking a little bit more sagey but it's kind of like a greeny gray sort of color um and this is what it looks like and this i got in a size six and then i styled it with these marine straight jeans from zara which are just white and i'll insert the picture in here and um, i got the inspiration from so you can kind of see like the vibes that i was like going for but yeah i absolutely love this outfit and i wouldn't normally wear like 
baggy kind of straight wide jeans with a baggy shirt because i just feel like that's a lot of bagginess but i actually really like how it like turned out and with the ultra minis as well i feel like it looks so good and also i feel like if you had the kind of more mushroomy gray colored um ultra minis because obviously they don't just do them in that tan color if you had like the gray ones that i've seen that would work so well because it would tie in really well with the shirt and i just feel like that would look really really good but equally with the brown tan ones i feel like it does look really good as well so we have that one and then um i don't know where to go for next next up we have this which is a two-piece from zara and literally as soon as i saw this i was like oh my goodness this with ultra minis my video is gonna be perfect um because this came out literally the other day is this from the oh it is i've just seen that this says it's from the lingerie section which is kind of like their pajama section but when i was like looking for this it said it was in the normal range so i'm a little bit confused but i personally wouldn't wear this as pajamas like this to me is like a wearing out the house outfit so it's basically like this kind of brownie colored this is a shirt it's super soft like a nice baggy fit and then these are the trousers that i got to go with it they're kind of like a crinkled effect um they just go down like this and then the waistband um has like a cool kind of like button detailing like it's kind of asymmetrical which i really liked and again the tones of like the neutrals and stuff work really well with the ultra minis and that's actually reminded me as well i did think of another outfit that i thought would be really cool with this but my jeans were in the wash that i wanted to wear with this so i couldn't film the try on clip but basically i'll either insert a picture or you can just imagine um like a brown blazer with mum jeans and then like either a white or a nude top underneath it and then the ultra minis and then like a beigey bag or an iced coffee or something just because then you've got loads of neutral tones going on you've got the brown in the blazer you've got the kind of neutral tones in the uggs and then you've got like a beigey or similar sort of brown neutral tone in the bag so all together it's just going to tie in really well and then also another outfit which again my jeans are in the wash so i couldn't try on mum jeans a simple white crop top of some sort and a blazer and ultra minis such an easy go-to outfit i feel like that's an easy go-to outfit for any shoe or any occasion but yeah i feel like that would look so good with the ultra minis oversized blazer white crop top mum jeans ultra minis cute bag iced coffee matcha latte or something in hand i'm here for it i love it annoyed i couldn't film the try clip for that because my jeans are in the wash but there we go you can imagine it anyway because it's a good outfit then more cowards again from zara i have this like suit set because i've seen a couple people wear suit sets with ultra minis and i feel like they look so good and i feel like the gray um pretty little thing molly may um suit set would work really well as well but i got this one from zara in the end um so it's just these white trousers that look like so just simple literal straight down um white trousers and then this white blazer to go with it and i wore nothing under the blazer and i just buttoned it up so you've got a little bit of your chest showing um so it looks kind of fancy like kind of smart and stuff but then the ultra mini is really casual it down which i love because i do love the idea of wearing like a suit set or like blazers and trousers and whatever but then sometimes i feel like a little bit too dressy to like wear that out for a day in london or something but i feel like if you style it the right way say with ultra minis or with certain trainers to casual it down it then works really well and it looks really like cool and effortless and kind of chic and stuff and again i quite like this kind of juxtaposition kind of contrast of the warm like fluffy casual ultra minis with then the really smart clean cut like white fresh crisp clean blazer set if you know what i mean but again these are just kind of examples but like any suits that i feel like would work really really well with ultra minis it doesn't have to be this particular white one from zara and then and lastly for this video i have this this is just a shirt from zara which is like a gray kind of crinkly one but i thought this is like a shirt dress but again a white shirt a black shirt any kind of color shirt wear it oversized as a shirt dress and then obviously the ultra minis i quite liked my little jacquemus bag with this because again um, i like the contrast of the color and i feel like it ties in really well with the ultra minis like i said and then these sunglasses because the orange kind of ties in with this i really like all together and again i like how you kind of got your legs out for the summertime but then you've got fluffy boots on the bottom i just absolutely love them and like i said i feel like they're so versatile like i don't think you realize how versatile ultra minis are until like i said you put an outfit on and then you try the ultra minis with it and then you realize they do really work well and there are so many other outfit options i could have gone with in this video but like we would have been here for hours so these are just like a select few ideas of what you can wear with ultra minis but there are so 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 many outfit ideas out there or like outfit options out there of what you can wear with them like I feel like the options are endless and i'm so annoyed that i didn't think of this video sooner like when i had this video idea the other day i was like how have i not thought of this before like ultra minis have been around like have been a trend for a couple months now and i'm so annoyed that i didn't film this video earlier when they were like in the height of their trend but i feel like people are still loving them like i am so 
I thought I'd do it anyway because I had so many ideas. I was like, I just need to film this video and I'm so happy with how it's turned out. So I hope that you enjoyed it too. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe down below if you haven't already. But yeah, that is it for this video and I shall see you at some point soon another one. Bye.